Welcome, my name is David Linton and today I want to show you how to get free internet data into Updata Analytics. It's real-time data on the internet and uh, Updata runs on a whole host of data services, professional services like Bloomberg and Reuters and we can see here from the Updata tree all the market terminals we're compatible with, uh, trading platforms, data feeds, uh, etc. And under data feeds there's one here called web price feed and so when you if you configure your feeds in Updata um, if you've got a trial of Updata just configure your feeds and um, add web price feeds when it comes to adding data feeds and if you add the web price feed you then effectively are compatible with being able to take uh, free internet data. Now the licensing for this is for private use so um, just make sure you um, uh, are aware of um, the licensing conditions before you start. But um, basically um, you can, uh, in the Updater system, uh, we have um, under Updata Analytics, in your Updata Analytics um, file, you'll see Desktop Price Cache Feed. And in there there's a Desktop um, Price Cache application. Now you can run that straight from there. Um, in fact, what I do is I just um, created a shortcut on my desktop. And so um, on my desktop, I effectively get this web um, cache feed. Now I can add data from different places. So if I go to something like Google Finance um, and I want to add, say, let's uh, say I want to add um, Vodafone. If I want to know what the code for Vodafone is, um, I can see here it's LUN VOD. Now I could type that in or I can just control C, go to my web cache feed and go control V. And I, if I subscribe to that, it's going to subscribe to the daily. I can then also say, well, I'd like a 60 minute charts as well and I can go to one minute data as well and what I can do is just subscribe to real time so that I get real uptime updates on, on those. Um, so I can add um, a series of, of stocks once I know the, um, the codes. So for example I know that uh, BHT, uh, BHP Billiton is BLT in London so I can subscribe to that as well and I'll I like to subscribe to the one minute charts because just occasionally um, especially before open or close I'm I'm looking at those um, those charts. The great thing of course is a lot of people are on uh, real-time data um, or delayed data so if I wanted to know what AstraZeneca was, I, I kind of know the code already. It's AZN. So I can just go here again and just edit the codes as I wish. Um, so I can just subscribe to these instruments as well uh, daily. Um, subscribe. Uh, um, what have we got here? Uh, one minute. Subscribe. And if I subscribe to the real-time ones as well, and we can start to see these updates coming in. Um, I can also go for NASDAQ stock. So again, I want to might just want to check what the code for a NASDAQ stock is. So if I go and click on uh, Microsoft, I see it's NASDAQ MSFT. And so I can go and just add that in here. Now this is not a system for um, adding lots of uh, codes. This is really just for tracking a handful of stocks in real time. But if you've got, say, some stocks in your portfolio that you want to track, then uh, this is a pretty good way to do it. So I could add um, Facebook, for example, as another share that I hold, and I'd like to just keep an eye on that real time. Um, and we, it's, it's deliberately designed so that you don't um, add lots of um, codes at once. Uh, basically it's polling this data on the internet and, and allowing you to then um, track it and update it. And so we could add say something like Amazon um, and I know the code for Amazon is AMZN for example um, and once I've done that I can then um, go and grab the, uh, the different time frames. And so straight away um, we can see here that we've got um, quite a lot of codes that we're already tracking. So I've got one minute daily, hourly, um, and I'll grab the real time for Amazon as well. So what that means is that I've now got those 
code's been tracked. And so if I go back to my updater system and I can go just straight to a layout here. So let's um, let's let's just start by looking at the web price cache feed. So on your tab in updater you now have web price cache feed and so I can go and grab um, now you can see I've already um, done this, it remembers the codes and there is a real-time chart of uh, Facebook and um, here is the 60-minute chart, the one-minute chart, you see this data is super quick because this is great when you want to do things like um, your point and figure targets, you can actually then start to do the analysis on that one minute data. Really good if you're just at market open and you want to see data before you get delayed data on your system or if you want to make trading decisions just ahead of the close or at the open, um, this is this is a great way of doing it. And so I can go and build a list straight away. Um, now I've already, um, I can just go and um, build a new list. In fact, I, I built one earlier on this. Um, so here is my real-time list um, of these codes and you can see now the updates starting to come in. So this is a great way of just tracking a handful of things in real time for free in your updater analytics system. And of course, you simply double click an updater and all the um, uh, charts are there. There's the 60 minute, the one minute, um, all, all available to you to, to start tracking. And of course, once you've got that, you can then start doing back tests and system tests, uh, really, really powerful. Um, you can um, create your own uh, layout screen. So for example, uh, here's a layout that I uh, created earlier. Um, so um, we see here all these charts updating in, in real time. So one minute charts, 60 minute charts, all your analysis um, basically on that um, on that 60 minute data. One of the things also having done that is I can um, go back to my um, uh, list here. I can take that through to um, my my normal screen so I can copy this through to um, my layouts that I use for charts today and if I've got just a short list this is really useful um, for just going through and looking at the weekly daily and 60 minute charts all in real time again um, on these charts so if I get something like Microsoft for example and then I decide that I want to go to the one minute chart I just double click there take that to the one minute um, by clicking here and then I might want to see just what the targets are on the one minute um, by taking that up a level and I can see I've got a new upside target there 1.77% knowing that this is real-time data and these charts are all going to update in real time so really really valuable um, way of just adding that into your updater mix of, of services that you can run so why not take a trial of updater and try it on the free real-time data for yourself and just see um, the power of applying the analytics to that data uh, of course, to do that, just go to updater.co.uk and you'll see the trial by button at the top of the, uh, the website there. Give that a go.